young kids. You know, by traveling, I was so jealous to to the young kids in Africa. They were doing their their toys by using piece of wood, uh, cans, uh, and you know all these things. And I was just thinking, this is the best way to just to play and to appreciate what we have. Of course, I grew up and I, you know, I, I told you I'm an anthropologist, so I learned about Africa. And I also, on the political way, I realized, I began to look at the way, you know, the people, they were using what the Europe, all these colonial countries, they were bringing them, you know, like uh, anything, like the boat. And I discovered that so rich, so, you know, so creative things in Africa by using all this crap, you know, the material, the, you, the, the plastic bag, the bottle. This is something people used to do in Africa for many years. And also in the African culture, it's very important not to lose, you know, for example, the textile. You are giving, you are having textile, but this is for your daughter, this is for, it's everything go to, you know, someone after, you don't throw away anything. You know, what I can say, I'm, I'm not a painter, I'm not a sculptor, I'm not a, but I, I do a lot of things with my hand and using recycled material, I, I feel very comfortable when I have something doesn't, you know, it's maybe something bad with myself, but I really like to transform the things, you know. very important for everybody in life and um, I came in this country I was not far from my 50 years old uh, and, uh, birthday I you know I I'm just thinking uh, about Africa like I'm thinking about myself that's mean it's very important you know 50 years in um, in our life is uh, half, uh, half a century 50 it's a number just make you think of okay where I am so for the the African country you know most of them they were on the on, under the umbrella of uh, because after the, the I think, yeah between the two big wars the English people French people Portuguese Spanish some Italian too they just consider the Africa like their property so they they cut the country the way they want they share this uh, the, this uh, this big continent the reason is so important for me this date is because in my life i was abused and i began you know after many years after marry someone i began to really feel like okay if i have to give a sense to this life to for me it's time, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so that's the reason I came here. I left everything behind me because it was like, okay, no way. I have to. I want to continue to live, but at the same time, not like I'm living now. But for the African people, when they got their independence, they really had to face what they want to become. And uh, so these these 50 years is really like okay we got some freedom that's the reason we are having the birds coming because freedom is great independence is great but it's also a big challenge because it's not so easy to be free and to be independent and I can tell you it was not so easy for me to come in this country without speaking any English <laughs> and, uh, and just thinking okay I want to re rebuild my life or do something interesting I think it's the Mandela who say something like when you feel like you're done immediately you see the next step coming and the next step is the you know you feel like okay I I, I I'm on the top it's the, this small mountain and when you <laughs> you look at you see another mountain in front in front I'm not Mandela but <laughs> I think it's the challenge for everyone so this the one of the reasons this uh, 
exhibition is so important and is so connected with this 50 years anniversary. Ta 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 